Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Uh, today is Saturday, and it's a brownout. We're in a brownout condition, 12 hours, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., uh, but as you can probably hear in the background, you hear the generator is running, so we have electricity for the guys that continue doing work today. Well, it's about a quarter after 10, the guys are getting ready to come back from their break. So let me get inside the comfort room on the second floor, back behind me over here, so I can show you some of the designs for the niche that I have for the guys when they're doing the completion of the shower area. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get today started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. probably see over my shoulder they have already started the second tiler has started working on the wall here uh, our main tiler is still working on this area back over in this corner as well now something I did this morning I marked out where I'm asking them to install the niches we were going to do one niche but I decided to go ahead and do two niches because Ness just has so many different conditioners and shampoos and things like that. Whenever I try to put my one bottle at our house in the US, it kind of gets crunched away over in a corner and that's all I get. That's the only real estate that I get in the shower is my one little bottle of shampoo. So this is what I'm doing inside here. I drew it out for the guys this morning. It'll give us a little bit more room for uh, accessories, uh, hair, hair uh, shampoo and conditioner and things like that. So let's look inside the shower area and I'll show you how I drew out the niches so that we can leverage a little bit more area, a little bit more space for those necessary items such as shampoo, conditioner, and razor, uh, razors and things like that. All right, so what we have inside here, I have a 30 by 30 niche in here and a 10 by 30 niche down in this area here. This is wide enough probably for about three bottles, a couple of, couple of conditioners, one shampoo, and down here for the razors uh, for shaving legs and shaving faces as well. The outside area is going to be for a decorative, a decorative tile, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, back here, I put a 20. Uh, this is going to be 20 by 30, and this will be for additional couple of bottles. Uh, if we if we want to put shampoo over here, shampoo and conditioner, maybe this is my area. I don't know. Uh, and then we have this one up here. This is the decorative tile that we're going to use around the niche. Uh, this decorative tile is going to go up here. It's going to go here to a 45 degree angle. Come down this side, and then across here, which is going to be the separator of this area. And then in the back of here, we'll probably put the same mosaic that we used on the floor here. And if I have enough left over, we'll do the travertine tile to do the liner on the inside. And it'll be the same for this one over here. We'll have this decorative tile, which will go this way, this way on the top, and then 45 degree angle here, and then the side here. Now, I believe this option will be complementary uh, to, the, to the travertine tile here. Uh, as well as give us plenty of room, storage space for those necessary items, like I said, like conditioner, shampoo, and our razors, plus whatever else goes inside here. Then we'll probably put a hook, we'll pick up an accessory hook to put somewhere on the wall, probably right down in this area right here for the back scrubber. <laughs> Now I've already started out here working this morning in the raised bed garden area. I'm working on this little back wall here. Now that wall over in that corner is just going to be a traditional one. I'm going to have to do a little bit of modification right here because the little wall for the access point to the get inside the cistern, this concrete wall is a little bit higher than my 4x4 post. It's not a problem, I can do some modifications. So also what I think I'm going to do on the bottom section here, you see already, I've already cut the posts that are going to go here. Now these posts aren't quite as long as the posts on all the perimeter on the outside. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use a half 4x4 post. Basically I'll split it down the center, I'll mount it upside down, well when I say upside down, where the, it'll be like a, like a little bridge, where the top of the bridge is just like the top of the regular uh, 4x4 post. It'll save me a little bit of material, you won't notice it because it'll be covered up by soil, and it will give me the same amount, about the same amount of depth on those diagonals as you see on the perimeter around here. 
Well, let me get back to working on this. Uh, I'll keep an eye on what the guys are doing upstairs uh, from now and then with the tiling. And uh, before you know it, it's going to be lunchtime here again. Well, here it is 4.30 and I don't really have a lot of content for you today. Uh, today, I worked on this section right here. And what I thought was gonna be really easy, the easiest part, it actually be, it ended up being more of a challenge uh, than all these nice square corners right here because I have some complexities in some angles over here and and the slope and the angles and uh, so it, it it challenged me and my dad t would once told me he said you know son he says don't let her kick your butt <laughs> just jump back on that saddle and ride it another day well I wasn't sure if my dad was talking about the horse I once had uh, or if he was talking about Ness, or if he was talking about a challenge that I had with one of my projects. Uh, but we're going to say it was a challenge with one of my projects. And that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to work on this another day. I am drenched with sweat. It was a really hot day today. It was a clear day. It was a nice day. We got some rain, but it was kind of rain with the sun out. It was kind of crazy. Uh, I have no idea. I have not gone upstairs since lunchtime to see what was accomplished up on uh, the second floor in the shower for the tiling. So let's go up there real quick, but before we go up there, I'll just show you what I did here today. So I really only worked on this section here. I got the top rail, I got the support uh, stock, and I got the support stock on the bottom, and I did the 4x4 post in the ground and I connected over to this piece right here. Now, I ended up making a mistake. I made, I will tell you, when I make a mistake, I'll tell you I made a mistake. I did make a mistake today, and I cut, I cut this post down here too short. What I wanted to do, I wanted this post, I wanted to make a, a notch in it, so the notch went over, and I wanted to put this post about center on this. Well, I ended up cutting it too short, and I had to modify my plan because I don't have enough enough stock left over for this length right here to cut another piece. Now had I had another piece I would have I've done it all over but the only way to redo that over is to buy another whole section of a 12 foot piece and it's really expensive and I'm, I'm not going to do that. Remember this is just a raised bed garden. So that's my alibi for this part of today. Again I didn't finish it. Normally I get two full sections done a day uh, but this one with some of these angles like I was saying the angles down there and the problem I had trying to fix that. Sometimes fixing a problem takes more time than doing it right the first time. Most of the time it's like that. Uh, let's go ahead and go upstairs and take a look and see what the, uh, what's going on inside the bathroom. So probably as you can tell by listening to the generator, we're into our, about our 11th hour of our brownout for today. Uh, the generator did fine all day long, no problem whatsoever. I checked the fuel level. We still have about a third of a tank of fuel right now. And what'll happen in about, and what is this, 4.35? So in about an hour, an hour, hour to two hours, the electricity should come back on. And uh, after it cuts off for a while later on this evening, I will top off the tank again uh, in the event that we have an, an unscheduled brownout. Now I'm gonna say, judging by the amount of work that was completed today in the bathroom here, I'm gonna say that they had, they had some challenges. I'm gonna say the main challenge was this area right here. And it is a challenge, I'm sure it was a challenge. Uh, anything that has to do with the arch, remember the complexities, the complexities with me trying to get those angles in the raised bed garden fence today. Uh, but I came in here and one, two, three, four, five, six, six in a little piece. That's all the tiles that were done inside here on this wall at this point right here. And if I remember correctly, this, the, the travertine, is where we were. I'm not sure that much more travertine got done today, if any. And inside here, you see we have uh, about two rows, two and a half rows, uh, maybe even more, in this wall right here. So that is what was done inside here. So you can see more work that was accomplished in this area right here than was done here, but this is complex. Uh, so uh, I think once we get beyond this archway and that thing sets in and they start moving in some of the flat surfaces, tiling will go quite fast, especially in this area. Now remember the next thing that they have to do inside here, remember the niche inside here, the niche here and the niche here. 
And that is gonna be a lot of chipping. What I did was I gave them my chippers inside here uh, because normally they'll take a piece of rebar and they'll use a piece of rebar and, and they'll grind it down. But I picked these up. Remember we picked these, uh, what do they call it? These Stanley chippers. We got these from Wilcon a while back. And I have this one right here. So, I, And these were the ones that I, I used when we were cutting that hole in the wall down in the basement for the exhaust pipe. Uh, so this is what got done inside this room today. Now this is what my gardener was working on today. He's, he's putting the sod in down here. What I asked him to do down in this area, and I noticed when he co compacts the soil inside here, and this soil is made up of a lot, a uh, lot of, mm, I'm gonna say there's a lot of clay uh, inside. Even though it's rich soil that we have here, I, I, it feels like when it gets compact, it holds water. Uh, it, I haven't noticed it out here in the yard. I never really see puddling. But down inside the grass blocks, I'm, I'm noticing a little bit of puddling going on when we're doing the watering. We didn't have the problem when there was sand inside there. So what I asked him to do for the rest of the day, because he's pulling out all of the sand from the gra grass blocks. So I asked him to pull out half of the sand and we'll put some uh, to the soil on top of it. So half and half inside each one of the grass block holes. Uh, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to run down to the, remember the place that we got all that uh, that additive, that soil additive that has all like the coconut shavings. Now that's more like mulch, but it also helps with drainage. So what I'm gonna do the next batch for the rest of that when he mixes up the soil mixture, we're gonna add some of that in that will help some of the drainage. Remember, it's all soil and rock aggregate underneath that driveway. And then we have the, the French drain type of pipes, the perforated pipes uh, for drainage. So we're gonna, we're gonna change up a little bit just in case we don't want water to set up down there for the rest of it. And before we close for today, I have two shout outs. And our first shout out is actually a two for the price of one. There's gonna be two shout outs and it's a birthday and an anniversary shout out. Well, anyway, username Kelly Gayful. She's requesting a shout out for her daughter, AC Lacorin, uh, for her 27th birthday. And on the same day, which is today, which is September 22nd, her parents are celebrating their 50th Get it, 50th golden, that's the big one, the golden wedding anniversary. And that is Sosa and Belong who are celebrating the golden 50th. And also today for September 22nd, Greg Lenteo's caregiver, Amy Calabag, is celebrating her birthday as well. So to you, AC and Amy, I wanna wish you both a happy birthday. And to Sosa and Belong, a wonderful, wonderful 50th golden anniversary. I don't know what to do with that boy. So anyway, I'm gonna close for now. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday, and tomorrow Sunday we are, uh, or I am, I'm going to attend a uh, cookout. One of the neighbors here in the subdivision, they are cooking a pig in their backyard, Lichan. So if, uh, if they don't mind me bringing the camera along, we'll go along and I'll bring you with me over to their house for the cookout. I think that starts around noon. So uh, that's what the event is for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna rest a little bit. I might cut the yard. I might spread a little bit if I can pick it up after I get cleaned up and run downtown real fast looking for some screws. And I might, if they are still open, I'll try to get some of that, uh, that compost stuff that goes inside the ground. That's a couple of things I need to get tonight for tomorrow. So that's what tomorrow is going to be. But for today, if you enjoyed today's video, as short as it might have been, please give me a thumbs up, please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day. Mm -hmm.